Welcome. We're here today with Patrick Flanagan and so excited to share information about uh, your incredible work uh, with all the folks who have uh, worked with Water Liberty, who are interested in Water Liberty and interested to learn more about health and about healthy water. And my name's Lucian Eisenhower and um, been an environmentalist my whole life and, and worked with uh, water quality in a lot of different ways. And I'm really pleased to be here today with you, Patrick. Thank you, Lucien. It's good to be here with you also. Um, it's a pleasure. So I'm, We're going to delve in quite a bit to, to these particular uh, incredible inventions of yours, the mega hydrate and crystal energy to be specific. Uh, but before we kind of get into all that, I'm, I'm just curious, how did you get involved with water in this whole study? Well, Lucien, uh, I, was, I was born a child prodigy. In, um, I, I mean, I, at, at a very early age, at the age of uh, uh, eight years old, I had a series of nightmares that made me have to read to make the nightmares go away. And I learned everything I could uh, and became, had a voracious appetite. And by the time I was 14, I could read 14,500 words a minute with 95% comprehension. Wow. And I was just devouring uh, books. Like, you know, every 15 minutes I could read a book. And so I devoured literally thousands of books, read the Encyclopedia Britannica when I was eight years old. And, and so uh, I became a, a prodigy in electronics, built all my own ham radio gear when I was eight, and transmitters, receivers, everything. And so um, I invented a, a thing called a... Uh, a, uh, an atomic bomb and missile tracking device when I was uh, 11 and entered it in a f science fair. And I won the entire science fair, even beating college kids. And, and so uh, it appeared on, uh, UP, yeah, on the APS or wire services right. and was on the front page of uh, hundreds of newspapers. And so on Monday morning, I'm back in school after the science fair weekend and in study hall, seventh grade. And this um, this thing came over the loudspeaker from the principal's office. Patrick Flanagan, come to the principal's office. The Pentagon is on the telephone. <laughs> they announced it over right. the loudspeaker. Uh -huh, yeah. He said, oh boy, I'm in trouble now. Oh, I did. <laughs> yeah. and, and so I, uh, I went and, and there was a general uh, Force Sarah General from Wright Patterson Air Force Base, and he asked me how I knew about all the missiles the U.S. had fired and where they went, and I said, "Well, I did it with my, you know, invention." And so they sent a, a team from Wright Patterson right away, 15 scientists and and soldiers and all this stuff, and they took took it away and made my father sign a non-disclosure kind of thing for me. Did they also engage with you and kind of, were oh, yeah. they curious as well or? Oh yeah, they, they, I, they used to ask me questions about it. It was all by mail back then, of course, and uh, no internet. Right. <laughs> that was 57 years ago or actually more than that. And um, so uh, I then went to work for the Pentagon on, uh, in the summers. Um, on my vacation out of school and um, and uh, there was a Pentagon think tank um, under contract to the Pentagon uh, with William O. Davis who, who was former head of the Office of Scientific Research of the Pentagon. He was in charge and I'd go back there and they were investigating an invention of mine called the Neurophone and during that time I, I met uh, Dr. Henri Kwanda, Kwanda, uh, who's famous for the Kwanda effect. Uh, you can look that up. There isn't a jet airplane in the air today that doesn't use his discoveries for their wing designs and so forth. This is the fluid dynamics? Fluid dynamics. Okay. And he had 500 patents on fluid dynamics. And he was about 80 years old. And, and when I was at the, this think tank, I was 17 when I met him. And... And on his 80th birthday, I said, I hope I'm in the shape you're in when you're eight, when I'm 80. And he said, when you're 80, we'll talk about it. <laughs> and uh, Gloria Swanson was his girlfriend, the film, film star who went from 
from silent films to talkies and uh, you know uh, so so I got to know them and I had lunch with them every day uh, at this laboratory and one day Kawanda invited me into his office at the lab and he said he said he had been researching water for 60 years and he said that he wanted I reminded him of him when he was my age okay. and he said I'd like to share my water discoveries with you on the hopes that you can bring perfect water to humanity and he's he had been studying Hunza water up in uh, uh, Hunza land which is north of Pakistan and and it's a mountain valley where people live to be easily over a hundred years old sometimes women have babies in their 60s and 70s there and uh, so it's kind of like uh, Shangri-La the fountain of youth and so he he shared all of his work with me and I began my own research on water he said someday I believe you will provide Hunza water to the entire world and so and and people everywhere can have the the rejuvenating qualities of Hunza water and so I, I began my own research and it took me less than 20 years to uh, discover the secret and it was a special colloidal mineral in the water in Hunza water that came from glaciers that had these special characteristics that altered water and made the water that the people drink there uh, kind of a crystal water where the water is highly structured like the water found inside the body. So when you say when you say crystal, I when I, I, I think of a, a physical yeah. crystal like you might see right. inside a geode, right. uh, that type of crystal being a, a certain type of molecule that's just ordered. It's exactly right. ordered. But you're saying that applies with are, water as well. Absolutely. There are liquid crystals. Um, the, a lot of cell phones had liquid crystal displays. Right, okay, sure. and, and these liquid crystals would be aligned by electric fields. And now we have LEDs, micro LEDs, but for a while we had liquid crystals. It turns out that, that what we call structured water is actually structured like a liquid crystal and the water inside the body surrounding the cells it's now well known because of uh, nuclear magnetic resonance and and other techniques that the water surrounding our cells is highly structured and organized like liquid crystals especially water around proteins and uh, and so uh, I was early early in on this because I discovered all this before they knew that the water in the body was structured. And so the structured water is not only H2O, the water molecule, right. but it's it, to including these mineral compounds as well? Absolutely. Uh, you know, in, in science there's chemistry, and chemists say, well, water is just plain H2O, right. and that's all there is to it. Yeah. But materials scientists scientists who study the the properties of materials will tell you that water has different structures depending on what it's in contact with and and forms liquid crystals and so so um, I was way ahead of the curve because I, I duplicated tons of water I then sent thousands of bottles out I, I packaged the little bottles of it and I called it Hunza colloidal water or something way back then uh, this was uh, back in the, uh, let's see, the early uh, 80s, early 80s. And, and I sent this water out to people, and then people started recording, uh, reporting miraculous things happening in their bodies from adding this water to their diet. So it was, it was your replica of this, this, of this of water. glacial water. that Exactly, yeah. And so I... Um, then decided, well, I can't keep giving all this away. I need to, uh, to figure out what to do. So I, I, start, I, I, I came up with the name Crystal Energy and, and put that on the market uh, in, in the 1980s. And it became an instant overnight success just all by itself, no advertising. And I built up a huge mailing list of people and and 
took off from there. And so that's, that's one of the things here. So what is crystal energy? Well, crystal energy is, uh, consists of minerals, mineral colloids made out of silica. Silica is a part of our skeleton and part of our bodies and is an essential it's almost considered an essential mineral for the body. And, and people who have done, uh, especially UCLA, where they did studies on all the minerals in the body, they said that silica should be considered an essential mineral. And, uh, but there are 342 structures of silica. And, and I discovered the 343rd structure of silica. And and it's a special form. Uh, they're little bitty tiny spheres, five nanometers in diameter. That is so small that 2,000 of them would sit uh, side by side on, across the head, uh, head of a pin. And, and um, so these little colloidal minerals that are so small have an electric charge of, of minus 100 millivolts, which is uh, actually a tenth of a volt, and uh, but a, a tenth of a volt, uh, a tenth of a volt in a, an extremely small particle. So yes. that's actually powerful, super powerful. You know, if you took a, if you were able to take a metal needle, and you were able to polish it until the end of it was a five nanometer sphere, and you put one volt on it, it would create a little lightning arc coming off of it at one volt. Or, or at, uh, um, yeah, and or at a tenth of a volt even. Sorry, because it's so small that it's called, the radius of curvature concentrates the charge, and uh, so these little colloids added to water have a powerful, powerful effect. They attract water molecules and form structures around the colloids, mm -hmm. and and they all distribute themselves evenly throughout the liquid. Uh, a few hundred angstroms apart. And one drop of crystal energy contains billions of these colloids. So when, when we take a glass of water and we add one drop to it, it, it adds billions of little tiny mineral particles of high charge to the water. And when you add that to water, uh, we usually recommend one drop per ounce. I squirt it in water <laughs> when I drink. But uh, it, it lowers the surface tension of water and makes water wetter, literally makes water wetter. Because the, the, the surface tension of water is like when I, when I fill a glass and I pour it full, right. you see that curve of the water. Right. And, 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 and actually, there, there's quite a bit of resistance on the edge of water. Are you saying this, this changes the surface tension? It changes it, reduces it. And we, so, so things can pass more easily through. Through the water, or the water can pass more easily through things. Like, like your cell membranes. Okay, so, so if, the, if this structured water, water with crystal energy, can pass more easily through cell membranes, then what, what types of, of, of benefits or effects does, does that create? Well, it helps, helps to hydrate the cells. And we actually did a study, which we published uh, on, on our website, and it shows, shows uh, that we increase the rate of transfer of nutrients both both oil-soluble nutrients and water-soluble nutrients across cell membranes two and a half times faster than regular water. And, and it also increases the rate that toxins can be eliminated from the cell two and a half times faster. That's incredible because, it, I mean, two and a half times larger, if water is the ability, if a, if a cell is, is hydrated, Versus, right, if we're dehydrated, we're all shriveled up like a raisin, right? A, a raisin is a dehydrated grape. You picture right. hydrated, you've got this, this large surface of a cell. And if water is passing two and a half times faster, then it must be able to carry a lot more with it, I would well, think. Well, in, in fluid dynamics, it's well known that if, if you have a river that's flowing at one miles an hour, or at any rate, uh, let's say one mile an hour, it, it, it can carry at that rate a certain amount of content, uh, uh, minerals, sand, uh, silt, things like that. If you double the speed of the river, it can carry 64 times as much through 
the cell membrane, or the water through the cell membrane, or the river can can carry 64 times as much uh, material, and double that to four miles an hour, and it contains 64 times 64 times, and so so even though the the transition across cell membranes is slow, we're making it two and a half times faster just by adding crystal energy to the water. So crystal energy creating a structured water, which is, which is easier for your cells and for your cell walls to work with, right. that can then facilitate a lot more nutrient transfer in, water coming in, toxins coming out. Well, yes, yes. And, and so uh, uh, we've got, oh, let's say uh, several studies published in scientific journals, peer review journals mm -hmm. on on the products that I developed as a result of this discovery. And, um, and we're very excited about it because we're now recognized uh, when, when we first came out with Crystal Energy and, and another product we call uh, Mega Hydrate, uh, uh, we got all kinds of flack from Harvard, uh -huh. from, uh, from the uh, uh, Harvard re uh, Scientific uh, medical, review medical Review or whatever. And, and they said that the claims we were making were impossible and couldn't possibly be true. And then, then we published in the peer-reviewed journals and we didn't get any flack from, from the peer-reviewed uh, audience. And so, uh, so they accepted the discoveries we've made and now we're, we're real on, on real solid ground. Yeah, I, I, I spent quite a bit of time on, the, on your website and on the Phi Science. And, and I was really impressed, but I mean, there's an incredible bibliography of both your own research as well as other research studies that have referenced it. And you, it was, you know, just saying how you've been open book, let, let's right. examine this. And I think that that speaks volumes. Well, it, it helps because uh, our products are, you know, in, in, in what we call the health field or whatever, there are very few products that, that actually have been tested and uh, tested in peer reviewed journals. And, and published uh, like this. So we're very proud of our, of our work. Well, we're excited to be here today, Thank you. Pa Patrick, with you, because you, you bring such a wealth of experience and so many years. I mean, I was laughing earlier. You said it only took me 20 years to figure it out. So yeah. you've, been, you've been sticking with this for a long time. I have. I've, I've been a, an inventor for, um, since I was eight years old, so you could say 62 <laughs> years. <laughs> There you go. Right. And what about, so what about mega hydrate? What is it? What are the differences? Well, mega hydrate is the most powerful antioxidant. One thing we discovered is, is that uh, some of the minerals that we found in, in Hunza water actually uh, released, uh, changed the redox potential of water, which, which um, w water normally is oxidized. Uh, and the more oxidized the water, the more harmful to your body. Because if you drink oxidized water, the free radicals attack cells in your body and, and cause damage. And, and the free radical theory of aging says that free radicals accelerate the aging process. And, and what we've discovered is, is that, that the lower the redox potential, that is, the less oxidized the water is, the better it is for your body. Oxidation being like rusting. Yeah, yeah. literally, our cells rust, our cells oxidize, and, and, uh, and, and oxidation damages DNA. And, and uh, that's why we take, uh, you know, any antioxidants in food. You know, they're, they're, uh, vitamin C is an antioxidant, right? But when vitamin C neutralizes uh, particles that are harmful, vitamin C becomes a harmful particle. Right, okay, because when you have an antioxidant like vitamin C, like right. grapefruit seed extract, like green tea, right. it's, <clears throat> it's going and it's, it's giving an electron. So it's, it's yes. neutralizing an, an, an oxidant. It's neutralizing the effect of eating barbecue or smoking cigarettes or whatever. Right. But then f you're saying physically that, that vitamin C molecule degrades. Well, vitamin C is known as ascorbic acid. Right. But when, when it neutralizes a free radical, it becomes dehydroascorbic acid. And dehydro actually means that it's lost a hydrogen atom. And it turns out that hydrogen is the most powerful antioxidant in the universe. 
and and our product uh, mega hydrate releases negative ionized hydrogen uh, from a tiny tiny molecule vitamin c is a giant molecule right. and each one releases one hydrogen and then vitamin c becomes harmful but not as harmful as what it neutralized and <clears throat> this is the only antioxidant mega hydrates the only source of hydrogen that when it neutralizes free radicals it becomes water it, it just attaches to oxygen and becomes water and right. and does, no, is no longer a free radical and so we found out that 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 uh, the negative hydrogen ions from mega hydrate can restore all the antioxidants in your body it can make vitamin c recycle itself over and over again in your body and other antioxidants so that's fascinating you're, you're explaining that really vitamin c technically is a delivery mechanism for hydrogen yes it's giving off a hydrogen that can then yes give an electron to right. neutralize an oxidant. So this is kind of cutting right to the chase. It, it goes right to the chase. In fact, um, it turns out that all antioxidants known release hydrogen ions, okay. and, but usually from large molecules. But all antioxidants have different electrical charges, so they're mm -hmm. targeting specific um, molecules or free radicals of specific charges. Whereas uh, mega hydrate can neutralize any free radical, no matter what its charge, and also restore um, other, oxi uh, other antioxidants in the body. This is incredible because, I mean, just, you know, I'm thinking about high school chemistry, you know, right. I mean, the periodic table of elements, look it up on Google. Hydrogen being the smallest atom. So right. it, it, I imagine, I mean, I'm just kind of thinking out loud, this is incredible to think about, that it, it, it's so small, it can probably go can a go lot anywhere. of places in now, the body. The problem is that a hydrogen molecule has one proton and one electron, right. and that electron cannot neutralize a free radical just with, with a single hydrogen atom. But what, what these antioxidants release are something called H minus negative ionized hydrogen. Hydrogen can take on an extra electron further out right. that has a voltage that is compatible with your body. And, and so, so uh, negative ionized hydrogen is the master antioxidant of the entire universe. And, and it's found in all antioxidants. Uh, the the th problem with other antioxidants is that you have to consume a huge amount of them to get the same amount of hydrogen you would in one capsule of mega hydrate, and and so one capsule of mega hydrate has the same negative hydrogen atoms as you would find in in um, well let's say uh, uh, conservatively a hundred glasses of orange juice. Right, because I'm thinking about a, like a vitamin C molecule. That's right. a large molecule, and then you're looking for this one, you know, one active hydrogen to right. come off. So how did you figure this out in terms of... Well, I don't know. I, I have a gift, and, and the gift that I've been given is the ability to see things other people don't see. You know, Albert St. Georgie, one of my favorite scientists, said, said that... Uh, Everyone sees everything, but some people see th see something in everything that no one else sees, mm -hmm. and and so so I was investigating. Uh, my my biggest investigation was why is organic fresh raw food, and and you take organic fresh raw juice, okay, and you drink it immediately after juicing, and your body feels like it, it it's so strong and yeah. powerful and uplifting and you feel feel so good and yet you can take that same juice put it in the refrigerator for half an hour and then drink it and you don't get that lift right just sugar water right and i wondered it's it's still got some antioxidants but i wondered why is it that the fresh raw juice right then gives you such an uplifting feeling and I discovered the negative ionized hydrogen. When you juice fresh carrots or you juice other, you know, fruits and vegetables, you know, right from the tree, especially yep. if you can, or the ground, it, it, um, 
it gives you negative ionized hydrogen, but negative ionized hydrogen can disappear so fast because the hydrogen is light and it, and it just evaporates. And so uh, I wanted to figure out what, what that was. I discovered it was negative ionized hydrogen. And, um, and, and so I was able to figure out how to put it in a little capsule. Two capsules okay. of mega, mega hydrate. Now, well, first things first. First time I ever demonstrated this to, to a group of people, we, we came out with uh, little bottles of water, okay? And, and, and I started talking to this group of people which is about 40, 40 people. And, and I took two capsules of this and I took them apart and I put them in each bottle of water, shook it up a little bit and gave it to everyone. And I said, you know, while, while I'm talking, I'd like you to drink that water. And, and the people, you know, consume the water. And, and after about half an hour, people were raising their hands and saying, I don't know what it is, but that water you gave me, I feel so good, you know, and they'd say things like, like, I, I feel kind of like, uh, what's in that water? You didn't put, you know, uh, it's, one of them said, you know, you didn't put acid or anything <laughs> in that water, didn't you? And I said, no, it's just mega, mega hydrate, negative ionized hydrate. So this is going to be a really interesting was, interview today. It was the best thing I ever did. Wow. It was um, it, as a demonstration of it. That's the fastest way. If if someone wants to feel good fast, take it out of the capsules, put it in a glass of water or half a glass of water, stir it up, let it sit for about ten minutes or so, and then drink it. You you'll get the most wonderful lift you've ever felt. It's just like drinking you know, uh, a gallon of fresh raw carrot juice, wow. you know, instantly from the machine. Wow. Yeah, I mean, we're huge fans of juicing and, and eating organic and do that. Uh, but this sounds like an incredibly exciting tool. And uh, check out the Water Liberty website. You'll see the link to, um, to learn more about these and also to order these. But uh, that's, that sounds like a fun pick-me-up in the morning. Oh, it is. It really is. In fact, um, I, I like carrying, uh, you know, the capsules around because I'm lazy sometimes and I just take a capsule and so with you've been working with these for years now what can you share with us about some of the benefits that people have found using okay. crystal energy mega hydrate well let's put it this way when I was 30 years old I, w I had been a self-trained gymnast as a teenager my high school didn't have a team down in Texas Houston and uh, and so I taught myself gymnastics and but I didn't have a coach, so I had a lot of accidents, <laughs> like jerking all you know my shoulders out of socket, almost breaking my back, hurting my legs, spraining my ankles, putting my knee out, you know, all kinds of things. And so when I'm 30 years old, just as I'm developing, uh, discovering crystal energy, I, uh, I'd get up out of bed in the morning and I'd creak my way to the bathroom. It was it was catching my, up with you. My ankles and bones would snap and crack and creak, yeah. and and I and it really hurt every morning. It hurt to get out of bed, and uh, and so um, I started drinking uh, at, at that point the crystal energy huge amounts, and and about a month later it was like I I was the Tin Man and I got all my joints greased. And, and all that was gone. And then about the same time, I developed this uh, super antioxidant, mega hydrate, they actually go together. And, and so uh, I started taking it. And I had friends run into me. I was uh, living in Sedona, Arizona, and I had friends running into me. They'd come from California. And they'd say, what are, what are you doing? And I'd say, what do you mean, what am I doing? And they'd say, well, you know, I knew you 10 years ago, and you looked a whole lot older than you look now. What's going on? And, um, and I'd say, well, it must be the, you know, the things. <laughs> um, and, so, and so these, yeah. these complement, the crystal energy and the mega hydrate right. can complement. Oh, they do. How does that work? Well, the crystal energy is like the Hunza water. And... and uh, and it, uh, it increases the rate of flow right. of nutrients 
across cell membranes and eliminate of, to uh, uh, of toxins. And um, your lifespan is directly corresponding to the amount of antioxidant that you have in your body at any, at any given time. So, so um, the, the theory is that free radicals accelerate our, our aging process sure, sure. And, and antioxidants neutralizing free radicals would slow down or decelerate the aging process. I'm pretty good at 70, I, you know, but aging isn't, isn't for, um, it isn't for pansies. <laughs> it's, uh, aging is quite a process, but I'm pretty happy that I have uh, at least uh, these things to help, help slow it down. Well, it's, uh, it's really fascinating for me to think about these two together. So the, 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 the crystal energy facilitating just a lot more exchange, water, nutrients, and toxins out, but then the ability to neutralize a lot of those toxins right. this way. You know, and I'm, I'm 71 in, in, in a month. I'll be 71. And um, I never thought I'd make it this far because I was such a daredevil growing up. And... and uh, and and I use my own body as a guinea pig in all my research. You know, I've I've uh, I've had uh, three near death experiences, and one of them was electrocution in my lap. Oh man! <laughs> and and, um, and so um, uh, so I thank God for this because if I go back to thirty, when all my joints were creaking, I'd probably have severe joint problems and and be walking around with, with a cane or something at 70 if I even made it this far. So um, I, I thank God for, for this development and for giving me the insight and the wherewithal to, to create them. I don't know, you know where it came from, but, but it's, uh, it's literally a gift, um, gift from Henri Coanda to me for the water research and and uh, literally a gift from from um, our creator to actually make discoveries like this. Well, I, I'm just so pleased that we're here together and that Thank we're you. having the opportunity to share this with with all of you folks. And you know, a lot of people who are watching this video have probably uh, worked with Aja Clarity and have known Water Liberty through that. Mm -hmm. And um, through all your experience and your years of research, have you have you had experience with Aja Clarity? What are your what are your what are your thoughts bought, on it? I bought Audio Clarity the minute it came out. The minute I heard about it, I bought it and I tested it, and it works. It's um, it's an excellent product. I um, I went. Uh, I I have a, a a ranch in Arizona, and the water from the well is is um, got high levels of arsenic and other bad minerals. It's very, very hard water. Which is a common issue with wells, with oh, well yeah. water. Common issue. And so I don't drink the well water. Mm -hmm. And I don't even like feeding it to our plants, to our, you know, our garden and, and, and our trees and things, but they seem to be all right. But uh, I, I try to filter some of it out. But So the first thing I did is, is I took our well water, which I never drink, and I put, uh, I took a big glass and put a teaspoon of Audio Clarity in it and let it sit overnight to see what would happen. And uh, in the morning, there was this dark sludge in the bottom of the glass. And then I carefully sipped it, a little taste test because I didn't like drinking that water. But it tasted s sweet like spring water. It, 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 uh, it, the, the harshness of those minerals disappeared. And... I was fascinated. I finished the glass of water. I left the, Just threw, the bottom. threw away the bottom okay. residue, uh, and then I I started experimenting with it, and and I was fascinated. It does everything that I read about, and uh, and so I was I, I bought a bunch of it in case you know uh, the world came to an end and and I needed to purify you know water out of puddles and things like that, and so I I did that. I um, uh, I bought a lot of it, and and I experimented. I'd go around my ranch when it rained, and you know, with all the uh, aluminum that's uh, falling in rainwater and and other minerals and things, um, and and I'd, I'd pick up a from a dirty mud puddle on my property. I'd pick up 
you know, carefully siphoned some of that water out and I f filtered the water through a paper f coffee filter just to, just to, to get rid of the, the, the mud, you know. And then uh, I added Audio Clarity to that and then I tested the water and it was clean, bacteria free and uh, and tasted good. So I, I, I'm a, I'm a real believer in it. <laughs> wow, Patrick Flanagan using his body in the laboratory, <laughs> in the field. I do. I, I don't. I, I don't do animal testing. I do Patrick testing <laughs> on everything. Well, we're we're super excited. Thank you for spending the time here with us today. It's and my pleasure. For, for everyone getting to really dive deeper in this, and. Um, we're, we're excited to offer this. Check below uh, for information on uh, more on the products, more on Crystal Energy, more on Mega Hydrate, how to order. And uh, is there anything else you'd like to share with us here? Well, it's been such a pleasure. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely. All right. Well, this man has a firm handshake. I have a new I friend. You, I, think <laughs> I think you'll beat me in arm wrestling, man. Uh, oh, I doubt it, but uh, maybe. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for all of your work and thank you for sharing this with us. I really, really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. Awesome.